Hey YouTube and happy tax day. It's the last day to file taxes. So happy my husband and I, we just finished ours. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Yay. <laughs> okay, you guys. So this is my second video showcasing Anna Griffin's latest embossing folder collection. It's called Gatefold Embossing Folders. You make beautiful gatefold cards with these. In my first video, I showed you all some cards. And I pointed out that the folded edges on many of the cards, um, well, they ripped and they tore. And it seemed to be just a problem with, with all the folders. Now, I did point out that if you find that, that perfect paper, paper that did not give me any rips, any tears whatsoever, but for the other papers, I did get those folds and rips and several of you guys left me some tips and techniques that I want to incorporate in this video. Now I have to admit that I know the end result. I actually made this video last week and I went back to review it to upload it and it and the video wasn't there. Everything else was there but, but my video was missing and so I'm going to actually redo the video. <laughs> and try to act surprised at the results, right? But anyway, I want to thank you all for leaving these tips and suggestions. It really felt like a research project. It took me back to school. <laughs> now, let me also add that Anna Griffin has uploaded a video showing the correct way of using these folders that involves either a Cricut cutting file or um, scissors. Now, I have opted not to cut. I like the simplicity of just embossing and making it into a card. So right now, I'm not going to bother with the cutting file or with using a craft knife. With this first cut and emboss, I'm going to use the ribbon flower card. And I'm just starting from scratch. And so I'm using AC More or AC Craft paper. Not sure the, the name of it. And I've cut it down to size. And I'm going to pay attention to paper grain. That tip came from Luxury Card Store. Now in the first video that I uploaded, I did um, pay attention to grain. I did emboss along the, the grain and against the grain. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in that video, but I was aware of that. But I'm more intentional in this video. So I'm not sure if you could see the paper grain, but it's going horizontally. And what I'm going to do, I want to make sure the grain of the paper is in alignment with the fold line, which is also vertical. So I'm back. And let's see how this fared. Okay, I can tell already that I... Ooh, I got a big rip. So the paper ripped, though I made sure the grain of the paper was in alignment with the fold line. Now I'm going to incorporate a tip by Valerie Stone, who suggested I lightly miss the paper. So I'm using this spray bottle, and I'm going to give it several sprays. Let that dry for a moment and then emboss it. And you can't really tell that, well you can't tell that the paper was actually wet. I could tell already. It's going to be better. Okay, yeah. I did not get This literally ripped all the way through. But after I misted it, I did not get any, there's no rips along the fold line. So that tipped Valerie, it worked. And you know, I could have even missed it more because this paper is heavyweight. But that did, that did make a difference. This paper is also by AC Moore. I'm not sure what it's called. 
and I wasn't able to determine the grain of the paper. With the other paper, you could clearly see the grain going either horizontally or vertically. This one, it's a texture there, and I don't know. I know there's a way you can fold. It actually seems like the grain might be up and down, but I don't know. So I'm just going to emboss it and see what kind of results we get. Looks like I'm getting looks like I'm getting some tears on that side. Okay, yeah. So I did get some rips along the embossing. And I got a rip right there. Let me give it about seven sprays. Let that sit for a second and then see if it eliminates those tears at the reveal. Now I didn't let it dry totally. And this one had seven sprays and I could tell already the mist will eliminate the tears. Okay so this side I have absolutely no tearing. This side there's no rips through the paper but right here, the embossing did come up just a little bit. But this paper could have took a couple more mist as well. And so misting appears to greatly eliminate or reduce the tears along the fold line. You know, and that is really good news because that means you can use more of your paper supply. But I'm not done. Let's continue to test. By the way, this folder is the Georgette Lace Card. Let's test. I'm going to use the Emily Lace Card. And I'm going to use paper by WV, the Shimmer Stack. You can get that from Joann's or Michael's if they still have it. Luxury Card Store left some tips on determining paper grain. And what you do is you take your paper and you fold it either direction and I could tell when I fold it this way it's a lot easier versus folding it this way I get more resistance and so the paper grain is the direction that easily folds so I'm going to cut this down along the paper grain alrighty let's see Oh, some of that paper came up there. I wonder if it's because of the water. So this paper, I experimented with this one in that video that mysteriously disappeared. And all the papers had serious cuts along the fold line. But this one, it did not rip through, but it looks really distressed along the fold lines. And there are some small rips in the paper. Misting is also supposed to help eliminate the core color from coming through the fold lines. The core color in this paper is white. And sometimes you might want that distressed look, but, let, but let's see if the misting eliminates that. With this paper, the water is just sitting on the paper. It's taking longer to dry. Alrighty, let's see here. Okay, the, the misted paper does look a lot better. It's not as distressed looking. And mind you, I did not let this folder dry. It was wet because the water just sat there.
I still see well not as many tears in it so it really did make a big difference and if I was more patient I could have let that dry so misting did have a positive effect on the embossing cut and emboss I'm going to use basil cardstock a lot of us have that and so I'm going to try to determine the paper grain that's very easy to fold it this way so I get resistance when I fold it this way so the paper grain would be down this way this was a Millie brocade card Wow, I didn't get any cuts, tears on that one. Wow, okay. So, and I've used this folder before and I did get cuts with it, but with the basil card stock, it did not give me any cuts or any tears. I'm so pleased and I didn't miss this cardstock. Well, so people, um, if you have basils, go ahead and experiment with that because you might get desirable results. But let me also add concerning the basils cardstock, the paper grain I do, well I know for a fact, makes a difference when you fold along the, the paper grain because in my last video I tested that and it really did reduce the the tears along the fold line it probably helped with the basil's cardstock as well okay for this next cut I'm using or next emboss I'm using the Brussels lace card and color core coordinations paper okay so as I pull that out you can see that this ripped here but I still want to fold it see okay so I got some tearing with the coordinations paper so I'm going to mist the other half to see if the tearing will be eliminated now if you notice I've only missed it on the top of the paper because I put it in the folder just like this um, I don't recall if both sides were supposed to be misted but so far it's been working for me just misting on the top I'm just going to help this water go in you know what maybe you know what the heck I missed it both sides off the excess water if need be. So both sides have been misted. And the paper is still damp. If I remember, I'll come back and show you guys how the dry paper look. Totally dry paper. But I could tell it makes a big difference. Wow. So remember in my first test, can't, there's rips. See that tear? It's a big tear right there. There's rips along the fold. Not sure if you can see the little gaps in there. But with the misting, and I missed it on both sides, I did not get any. And this is with coordinations paper. Wow, that's wonderful. And my, um, the video that I somehow deleted or whatever, I don't know, modified, I did not test coordinations or basils, so I'm really surprised about that. I'm happy. Okay, this is great. With this last test, I'm using the Flourish card with Colorbox texture cardstock you could pick up from Walmart. Uh, 
I see the tears in this one. And to be honest, I didn't really pay attention to the grain of the paper. But there are rips there. Okay, so now I'm going to mist it. I'm only going to mist the top. So while that's sitting, let me grab that last card. The water can warp your paper in different places or make it stiff. So it's dry now. So, it, I mean, it doesn't... Hmm. It has a a rugged feel to it. It doesn't look bad. It just feels that way. And it could be because of the embossing and the paper was textured. Or it could be from the misting. But nonetheless, it's still pretty. Let me sit it down. Yeah, I think when it... Because it feels dry, but it feels still kind of really cold. And so I think some fibers are still wet in the paper but I like it. The paper is still wet. I'm going to go ahead and emboss it. Wow okay so absolutely got no tearing. The paper really does re the misting really does relax the paper makes it soft and this was the Walmart color box paper Valerie I want to thank you because when I made the second video I remembered that there's a product that you can buy I forget what it's called um, the creator of Spellbinder dies she would do a lot of videos and she would moisten her paper before she embossed it with this product and you know what I have it I have to go look for it but obviously water gets the job done this same paper I had tears along the fold line but I missed it just on the top of the paper and absolutely got no tearing wow I want to thank you all for your wonderful suggestions. I did get a few other tips. Mama Crafts mentioned to condition your embossing folders first with chipboard. Run that through several times. And there were a couple other comments to testify to the use of misting. Obviously, misting works. The paper grain works. I would try the misting. If you don't have time to check for paper grain, then go ahead and just mist it because the misting tended to work whether or not you embossed along the paper, paper grain. If you want more information concerning embossing techniques, then go ahead and read the comments left in the last video because there's some wonderful information there sure to check out Anna Griffin's video on how to cut these folders and if you want them they'll be back in May. Thank you guys for watching and commenting. Have a blessed last day to file tax day.